So today was day two of the studio stroll. Day one, gosh, went by in a snap. It was way, way cool. These weekends are usually pretty full of just non-stop smiling and being nice to people. Like, hi, welcome to the stupid creatures. That's what I say every time anybody walks in the door. Feel free to pick them up, give them a squeeze, help yourself to some Swedish fish. Ugh. Oh. I really, truly love being an artist and I love um, having people over to the studio and having people come by and, uh, you know, enjoy the monsters, pick them up, squeeze them, and, and then buy them. How awful am I? How just wretched? I pour my heart and my soul and my creativity into every single one of these little guys. And, and then I just turn around and sell them. I'm actually really <laughs> glad Georgie's still here because he's become kind of a, a friend. <laughs> Well, he's really good. He's bright, and I made Morsh today. <laughs> I like him. He's really squishy and soft. I've got Glog. He's still here. I've got Tiffy. She's still around. Yeah, eat him. Made from t-shirts, pocket mouth, which has become kind of a standard for me. This guy, I named him Plea. Um, um, Mr. Buggy Bones is still very much here. He needs a home. I'll miss him, but somebody out there has the capacity to love him. I've still got a whole bunch of little t-shirt change purses um, made from cuttings from creating other creatures. I've made these scarves in the John Murphy made this line. They are wool. See the pretty colors? High quality, 100% wool. They're light, but they're not flimsy. I got lots of attention for my new box set, Make Your Own Stupid Sock. This is out in stores now. This kit um, features a slimmed down version of my original book. The kit comes with the toe socks that you need and the navy blue socks that you need to make a new ninth pattern. <clears throat> That's it for now. Leave me comments, questions. I cannot wait to do this again. <laughs> <laughs>